Well, David, while some people want chocolates and gifts for Valentine's Day, others just want undivided attention. That's which is, not too much to ask, right? Which is it for you? All of the above. <laughs> All of the above. Just make it easy. <laughs> well, Channel 3's Caroline Corrigan spoke to a local relationship counselor on how you can make sure social media isn't impacting your relationship. As millions of people rush to the store Friday to find that perfect gift before dinner, Chattanooga Relationship Counselor Judy Herman says there's one thing you should leave off the table, your phone. We look on social media or check our phones. We are what we're doing is we're feeding our brains then dopamine is a feel-good chemical in our brains looking at a life that isn't always the reality and she says it impacts our relationship it gives you this feeling of feel-good feelings you're looking at people's um, wonderful lives on the outside but you're having this relationship with a real person and a lot of times it is messy she says it diminishes your relationship skills. Uh, we look at our phones, right? If we're, at, you know, at a meal and with our loved one, and even having the phone on the table, like we are saying to that other person, you know what? You're not quite so important right now, and I'm going to make sure I check what's better or what I might be missing. Sometimes people don't even realize these distractions are having a negative impact on their relationship. You now it's a risk, of course, to relate to another human being, and it sure is easy to look at our phones instead. Reporting in Chattanooga, Caroline Corgan, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. And if you'd like to learn more, there's a book that Herman has written called Beyond Messy Relationships. We have the link to that book inside our app.